Sun ends here in Fayetteville for Ole Miss as they struggle against Arkansas. And honestly, this series really summarizes the type of season it's been for the Rebs, as it's just been an up and down type of year for them. Now for Ole Miss, even though the season didn't end the way they would have liked, they can hang their head on the fact that they found themselves towards the end of the year and finished the year playing some of their best baseball. I think we'll always be remembered for, you know, being here, you know, unfortunately, you know, it, it ended, you know, uh, one game short of Omaha, but uh, a time where, and I've seen teams, you know, not just at Ole Miss, but others where, you know, you, you don't play well at the end and, you know, you just go, what happened to them? They were, they were real good, but they'll be remembered for, for finishing, you know, for playing well in Hoover, playing uh, super last week at home uh, uh, and uh, just coming up a game short. We went through periods where we were just really dominant. We went through periods where it looked like we'd never picked up a baseball. Um, but, you know, overall, just, you know, proud of where we are right now. These guys have grown into my best friends and people that, you know, I'll continue to have relationships for the rest of my life. Um, and, you know, I, I couldn't have asked to be a part of something so great. Now, this might be the last time we see some of these guys don the Ole Miss jersey. I mean, you have guys like Thomas Dillard, Greg Kessinger, Cooper Johnson, and others who were all selected in the MLB draft. But despite that, there's going to be a very talented bunch of guys returning next season. And you also have a top-tier recruiting class coming in. So it wouldn't surprise me if we're right back at this time next year covering another Ole Miss Super Regional.